Regardless of whether you have already heard of electric unicycles or not, you should know that the morning commute to work has never been more stylish. Unicycles are attractive, come with modern design and are practical. Moreover, they provide riders with extreme freedom since their hands remain free while riding. Naturally, if you are new to unicycles, you must learn to ride them first to be able to discover their full potential. However, there is one more thing to solve, namely, what unicycle type to choose. For you to be able to pick your dream machine, Max Blinker summarized the recommendations for models designed for beginners, models for those who already possess some riding experience, as well as for top professionals. And if one is to choose a unicycle, then surely a high-quality one made by one of the best brands on the market, in motion. So, let's go. You belong to the first customer group if you have never ridden a unicycle yet, but you wish to give it a try. If you only plan to use your future unicycle for short trips within the city, or if your priority is easy handling and minimal investment. In that case, there are two in-motion machines that are best suited for you, namely the V5F and V8F models. The in-motion V5F is a unicycle with a 14-inch wheel and the V8F has a wheel bigger by 2 inches. In both cases, these are the machines that dominate by maneuverability, low weight and compact design. They are simply made for discovering the world of unicycles and exploring the city while riding them. However, despite their similar nature and focus, you will immediately notice a few fundamental differences between them. The InMotion V5F offers the bare minimum, which fact is reflected in its price. Nevertheless, its specifications equal and in some cases even surpass other individual electromobility machines that are similarly priced. The power of 550 watts, a range of 40 kilometers and a compact size. These are the biggest advantages of the V5F. On the contrary, the InMotion V8 allows you to taste some of the equipment usually found in more premium unicycles. The riders wishing to spice up their rides with a unicycle offering simple control will enjoy almost four times the power and longer range provided by this model. The ambient LED lights visually contribute to this, as well as the IP54 moisture protection rating. Before deciding whether to choose the InMotion V5 or V8, you should be able to answer questions such as How much do you want to invest in a unicycle for beginners? How frequently will you use it? Is it okay for you to only have the basic equipment? And do you expect a more advanced configuration? Have a look at this table for basic parameters along with pros and cons. The InMotion V10F model comes as some kind of an intermediary between the two unicycle categories. Just like the V8F model, this unicycle belonging to a higher class is equipped with a 16-inch wheel and offers a power of 2000 watts. The differences are found in the other technical specifications, meaning that with the InMotion V10 if you have at your disposal, a range of up to 75 kilometers and a top speed of 40 kilometers per hour. These two unicycles are similar in terms of their specs and price tags, making it difficult to determine clearly which of the two is the right choice for you. In a situation like this, it is simply their visual appeal that must be a decisive factor. The advanced riders will most likely look for unicycles delivering more than 2,000 watts of power, having large battery capacity and riding properties that make them suitable for both paved and dirt roads. There are two models that are ideal for them, the InMotion V11 and V12. The trump card of the first one, the InMotion V11, is the design. 
It is based on an 18-inch inflatable wheel, but the real treat comes with its air suspension. Riding it is not only extremely comfortable, but you are also able to handle more difficult terrain without problems. Although the InMotion V12 HT does not have any suspension, it offers a more compact size, more power, longer range, as well as more equipment. To get a better idea, let's look at the numbers. The InMotion V11 hides inside 2200 watts of power and a 1500 watt hour battery capacity, which is enough for 120 kilometers. Its top speed is 55 kilometers per hour. However, the biggest advantage comes with the already mentioned suspension. On the contrary, the InMotion V12 HT offers 2,800 watts, which allows its top speed to climb up to precisely 60 km per hour. And those who are content with 2,500 watts of power, but would like a top speed of 70 km per hour should get the V12 HS version. Still, the V12 HT will not only go faster than the V11, but also further namely 150 kilometers. Once again, deciding between the two comes down to answering a few questions. If your priority is comfort and you only need enough power for riding in more challenging terrain, then you are more likely to lean towards the V11. But if you want a truly versatile machine that can handle light terrain, climbing hills, fast acceleration from a standstill, and has a long range, the InMotion V12 HT is a better choice for you. Both of these machines are similarly priced. If you do not like any of the unicycles mentioned so far, and you do not want to make compromises between comfort, off-road capabilities, and technical specifications, there is only one option left. It is the flagship of the InMotion brand and an absolute monster among unicycles. Meet the InMotion V13 Challenger. Everything the InMotion V12 HT offers the Challenger doubles. The result is 4,500 watts of standard power. Yet this unicycle can reach an incredible peak power of 10,000 watts, a range of 200 kilometers, a 22-inch wheel and a suspension that travels 90 millimeters up and down all mean that the V13 Challenger simply knows no obstacles. On the other hand, a unicycle of this kind takes its toll on size and practicality, which is why it is better to take it for a spin down the forest roads rather than to ride it in the city. Out in the forest you can fully discover what a beast the InMotion V13 Challenger really is. As you can see, the portfolio of the InMotion brand has a model for everyone. It only depends on your intentions, experience with unicycles, your planned routes as well as your budget. That is why Max Blinker tried to select the best unicycles for your needs based on these requirements. Now that it is clear for you which type to choose for your next adventure, visit Max Blinker's eShop where you can find all in motion unicycles for the lowest market prices. Let us know in the comments below which of the in motion unicycles you like most. And do not forget to subscribe to Max Blinker's channel where you can find Max reviews unboxing and other videos focusing on electric unicycles as well as scooters.